Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda, and today is Fan yeah. Custom yeah. Friday, yeah. where I pick one of my fans' custom OC ponies, and I make it in real life on my channel. And this month's winner is Silva Goldenmine, who was submitted to me by Reina. When Silva was a little pony, she loved to go out on adventures. One day, she stumbled upon a gold mine, and that's when she got Got her cutie mark so let's get started making a Silva we're gonna be using Fluttershy as the base for Silva today starting off with a little bit of acetone removing her cutie mark and her eyelashes but I'm gonna leave the original eye pretty much intact now we need to remove Fluttershy's head so we can take off all of the pink hair get her prepped and transformed into a Silva. So what I'm gonna do is cut off the bulk of the original tail all the way down to the pony's body, then use the end of my scissors to press the rest of that tail directly inside. For the mane, I'm gonna be taking a large pair of scissors and cutting off the bulk of the hair and then switching over to these teeny tiny itty bitty nail scissors and cut the hair all the way down to the scalp and this step is super important because it makes it so much easier to pull the hair roots out but we need to get to the hair roots first using an exacto knife i very carefully made a series of teeny tiny cuts all the way around that neck plug let's get all of these hair roots out and we can get started with the customization for her body i'm gonna be using this really pretty silver nail polish from sally hansen and what's really funny about this polish is this is actually the exact same color that i used for the second fan custom friday pony that i ever made so i thought it was really cool that i actually still had it i'm gonna completely cover the pony's head with two coats of this nail polish let it completely dry and then get started on the facial details silva has a white colored mouth so i'm gonna be using some acrylic paint and a fine paintbrush to outline the mouth area Area, and then I'm going to fill it completely in. It's gonna take me three coats of white paint to get it nice and opaque. So while that first coat is drying, I'll get started on Silva's eyes. Using that same white acrylic paint, I'm going to reshape the entire eye. So let's get all of this paint in there. Again, three coats of white here. And Silva has a green eye. So first off, I'm gonna take a true green color and completely fill in her eye area and then i'm going to go in with a brighter shade of green and fill in the center area just to give the eyes a little pop a little bit of definition and they're gonna look really cool with this two-tone effect once the green has completely dried down you can go in with some black for your pupil so let's get silva's pupil in here and then lastly for her eyes I'm gonna give her a light reflection using my nail dotting tool and while I have my nail dotting tool out I'm actually gonna take a little bit of black and give Silva those freckles on her cheek how cute is this oh my gosh now I'm just gonna pop in some eyelashes really quickly and that's all the painting on the head so I'm gonna cover it with the layer of clear nail polish once that has completely dried it is time for silva's hair so silva has gold hair but the closest i can get from dollyhair.com is this shade called sunlight and i don't know if you can tell on camera but oh my gosh it really really glistens in the sunlight in the light it is such a gorgeous color and this is what we're going to be using for silva's new mane I've cut the hair into sections that are one quarter the original length and we're going to be rerooting today using my rerooting tool from 
dollyhair.com. It is a pronged needle. I like to just gently wrap the hair around my finger and gently catch it right in between those two prongs right at the top here and you can see how it has just kind of caught itself right there in the middle because it is pretty sharp all you got to do is decide what hole you want that hair plug to go into press down firmly and just like that the first hair plug is in you can see how it just anchors itself right inside of the pony's head and then repeat this process over and over again until the mane is completely in. And once you have all of your hair plugs in, you're going to need to secure them because you don't want them falling out when you're playing with your pony. I'm going to be using some hot glue today, squeezing a generous amount inside of the head. And as that hot glue cools down, it is going to secure all of those hair plugs in place. That's it for the head. Let's get started on Silva's body. Taking that same Sally Hansen nail polish, we're going to cover the entire body with two coats of silver nail polish. This is so cool. I love working with the metallic shades. These ponies always look really, really awesome. Like how cool would it be to have like a robot pony using the same nail polish? Now for Silva's wings, I wanted to make them a little bit darker than the body so it would look like the picture. So I actually have this darker gun metal gray color and that's what we're going to be using for her wings today. Let's get both wings all painted on and then we can switch over to some black and pop in her shoes. So let's real carefully get these shoes painted on all four of her hoofs. Now it's time for Silva's cutie mark. Her cutie mark is a brick of gold with some silver coins around it. So I'm using some gold acrylic paint and I'm just going to do my best to copy Reina's drawing. So let me get the outline of the gold brick here. And then I'm gonna switch over to some silver acrylic paint and use my nail dotting tool to put those silver coins on the side of this gold brick. And now that the gold acrylic paint has completely dried, I can go in and paint the edges to define the shape of that gold brick. This just looks so awesome. Once I get everything outlined, that's all the painting that needs to be done on Silva. So let's cover the entire body with a layer of clear nail polish to seal in all of our work. And once that has dried, it is time for her tail. Got some more of that gorgeous sunlight hair that I have twist tied together very tightly. And I'm gonna take some white Gorilla Glue, squeeze it directly inside of the pony's tail hole just like this and then use the end of a paintbrush or your nail dotting tool to press that tail inside of the hole and once the glue dries it's gonna puff up and secure itself from the inside that's it for this custom let's get the head put on and take a look at the completed custom here is Silva Goldenmine. She came out so cute. Reyna did leave some instructions saying that the pony had braided hair. So I went ahead and carefully braided that for her. I think that it came out so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, Reyna, I hope you love her as much as I do. And if your custom pony was not selected for this week's Fan Custom Friday, there is always next month your pony stays in the drawing until it is chosen and if you have not submitted your pony but would love to stay tuned until the end of the video for the fan custom friday giveaway details thank you so much for watching little pandas until next time bye
Want to see your OC Pony made in real life? It could happen. Submit a drawing of your OC Pony along with a short story about him or her directly to me and be sure to include your OC's name. Once a month, I will randomly choose a pony to create in real life on my channel. Anyone can enter no matter where you live and it is completely free. There is no charge to submit your pony and there is no charge to make it if you win. I'll even mail you the finished pony as long as you have a valid mailing address. I ship worldwide and of course shipping is free. Here are the Fan Custom Friday rules. 1. You must be a subscriber to this channel, so submit your YouTube name along with your OC so I can verify. And if you are underage or your parents do not let you have a YouTube channel, no problem. Just let me know when you submit your pony. And two, if you are under 18, please ask your parents' permission before entering the there giveaway. There are three different ways to submit your OC Pony. You can either message me on Facebook or comment on my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Collector. You can message me on Instagram at Collector, or you can mail me your drawing and your story to mandapanda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347. Just a reminder, Fan Custom Friday is intended to encourage your imagination and creativity. So please avoid plagiarizing other people's works from websites such as DeviantArt and Google.